Guys, crazy cool particle effects like this, and even riding an Ender Dragon just like Mr. J Craft is right now. Stay tuned, 10 more cool commands coming right up. Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming. Guys, we are doing yet another 10 crazy cool, kind of easy, a little more difficult than last time. Minecraft commands. That's right, it's gonna be super cool. We have a guest visitor just like last time. The in-house command block expert, Mr. J Craft. Where are you? Where is Mr. J? Oh hi Mr. J Craft. How are you doing today? I'm doing quite well. Are Don't mind the well? road. It's supposed to be like this. Why'd you break the world? Don't break the world. Um yeah, so we have yet 10 more commands. Mr. J Craft has been working hard for sure, uh preparing these different commands that are super cool a little more challenging than the last commands the last ones were kind of like you know one block some of these are maybe two or three blocks but we will go over them together right now guys for this one here let's go for 200 and or no 952 likes that's how many we need dang it and make sure that you subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell while you're there and while you're there there's going to be a link for mr j craft right here in the description as well his channel is filled with tons of building and command blocks, including a bonus command block tutorial that we're going to show you in the middle, some faction commands. So we're going to jump into this. Mr. J Craft, what is number one here? Give us the fast. If you give us one sentence, what is number one? A awesome, amazing tornado that I want in my worlds. Okay, so let's do this. So the first command, this looks like a lot of command blocks, but it's actually not a lot of command blocks. It's all the same command blocks. Each command block is only going to give you a different command for the different particles that take place. So long story short is, in this one here, you're going to need an actual armor stand. Wow, it's like lagging me out. Okay, there we go. Bang. You're going to need an armor stand, and it's going to be need to call I. Once you have that, that's going to be the eye of the storm, I guess, is the actual fun part about this. Once we have that, you can see this is going to be right here. First command, you can see it's a repeat unconditional in these redstone. None of this stuff clicked. Bang. So execute at E type armor stand named I. So just use this exact command right here. Basically, it's saying an armor stand named I execute TP. What's happening here is tilde, tilde, tilde is where it is. This is the rotation speed. You can see number 10 is the rotation speed. And you can change that number to make it go faster or slower. In addition to that, these are the different types of particles that are on it. So you can see this first one here is execute at E armor stand name I slash tilde, tilde, tilde particle Minecraft campfire smoke particle. You notice the up, up, up 0 0.5. That's going to be the location of the actual particles from the, the armor stand. So I'm going to show you a couple more. You're going to see that we change this exact thing here. So campfire smoke is going to be one of them. Conduit is another one here. You can see Minecraft conduit attack emitter. That's the only thing different. You can see this one's actually raised up one higher than the particle campfire smoke one. And if you go villager angry, you can see those little flames again, very similar to the exact other ones, except a little bit of movement on where it is and Minecraft villager angry beside particle. I don't know if there's any more right here. Critical hit is yet the name of another particle and down. Lava is another particle. This is one of the ones that Mr. J Craft says he likes the best. Is that what you said to me earlier? Yes, it is. It's very nice. I think this is the one that the flames start shooting out. So uh, let's keep going. And yeah, so like I said, these are all just multiple over and over. So we're going to turn it on and you're going to see what happens. Again, you can have multiples of these in your world. And that's the effect. Basically, that's the rotation. You can see the spin speed of 10 and where each one's happening. That's what gives it the cyclone effect because you see how one was, you know, one and point five, one and whatever, a little bit away. And bang, find different art, find different particles in the game and you could get crazy cool effects. So you see the ones shooting. These are the lava ones, if, I, if I'm if i correct, right? These little ones that shoot yeah, that outside. Yeah, those, those are the lava nice. ones. Yeah. You see them once in a while when you're mining. You can have multiple of these in the world, but at some point in time, if you put too many, there's going to be some lag. And I'm pretty sure you could just break them and bust them out like this. And uh, yeah, let's get rid of them. Done and done. Let's go to number two, Mr. J Craft. Are you excited? Yeah, I am. This has been one of my dreams since I started out playing Minecraft. And and what is your dream? Riding the Ender Dragon, isn't it? So do it, do it. Oh, yeah. No, he got away. That's okay. So basically, this one here is going to spawn the Ender Dragon. 
You could get in the cart and then you can fly the Ender Dragon and you can aim where he goes with this fishing rod. That's right, that's exactly what's going to happen. He is controlling the Ender Dragon right now. Yes, that's awesome. He's controlling the Ender Dragon. And uh, yeah, super cool, super awesome. This is how we do it. He's going to have to get off at some point in time, but we're going to go over here and show you. So. The first one that we don't use for anything, or we do use for something, is right here. And this is going to TP... What's his first one here, Mr. J? I don't think it's useful for anything. We actually didn't... This was just All to make it... Make it stay still. This makes the Ender Dragon stay still. So you can see TP Ender Dragon slash three. That makes it stay still long enough for you to actually jump in. It'll be a repeat unconditional needs redstone and good. And yeah, you can see we use a wood button too. That makes a difference so that the actual Ender Dragon stays still longer. Uh, if you were to put like a stone button or something quicker, it wouldn't actually stay still long enough. That said, you can see these other two commands right here. This is the summon the ender dragon command. So this one's gonna summon it. 20 blocks, you can see in the middle tilde right there, you can see the whole command. It's gonna be 20 blocks over the middle tilde, which means as you can see, it's gonna spawn 20 blocks in the sky. This one right here is going to be adding a rider. So if you wanna ride the ender dragon, it's only gonna allow someone to do that if you have the tag rider. And we've talked about adding tags before, and you can see TP add rider. So we wanna do that to us, right? bang we're gonna want to make sure that i'm a rider and then that way we can ride the ender dragon as well now you're gonna have to kill the ender dragon mr jcraft i'm pretty sure we had a command that killed the ender dragon but he's gonna die he always hangs out at zero zero i'm pretty sure that's zero zero in the unless world you want to ride it in that case you might want to teleport it back but if you want to kill it right now so that's but fine. yeah no no you can leave him there oh oh well, no he's dead now. yeah okay so basically the commands are right here this is going to be execute ender dragon slash tp at self bang so this is basically putting you on top of the ender dragon and that it's gonna go in the direction that your fishing hook goes and mr j explained to me in some weird way that i didn't quite understand is long story short the ender dragon going backwards is going forwards it has you got you got one sentence to explain that if you want mr j so whenever the ender dragon's front is its tail Okay, so you want it to go backwards in this. If you were to put 0 0.09, it would go backwards, basically. So you need the negative yeah, it would, there. It would that. Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. So you can see there's the first command right here. And let's go in. Repeat unconditional needs redstone. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the second command here. This is a chain command. And you can see what this does is execute a slash to tag rider. Tilde tilde, execute slash TP. So basically, what does this do? It makes it go at speed that it goes? Yeah, it will teleport the fishing hook behind the, you know, the rider. Okay, so these numbers here where it says negative 2, negative 10, if these numbers were higher, it would go faster, basically. No, that's just the fishing hook, the, where it's going to be in behind the player. Okay. So it knows which, uh, so the dragon knows where to fly. Okay, so the dragon knows where to fly. So what is this? What's the overall effect of this middle chain command block? Uh, it's pretty much just telling the dragon where to go. So when you're riding it, you can control okay. you know, where you want it to go. Okay, that makes sense. And then last but not least is this guy right here. So this is basically teleporting the cart on top of the Ender Dragon so that you could sit in it, more or less. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Yeah. And that three right there in the middle with the arrows, that's going to be that the t the my cart is above it by three blocks, basically. Yeah, so okay. it will be riding on top of the okay. Ender Dragon. Okay, so let's do it. I have a fishing rod in my hand. I'm going to go up here. So you're going to press press okay, the button. It's... Oh, where'd he go? Yeah, it's down here. Oh, I got it, I got it. Okay, so basically, we now have the fishing rod. And you can see I am literally flying the Ender Dragon. So basically, in order to fly it, you have to not hit... You have to see what it's doing here. It's lagging out a little bit for me. Or he just stopped it. Zero. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you so you have to zero. actually shoot your fishing rod. Oh, yeah. And there you go. And then, yeah, you can fly the Ender Dragon. How awesome is that? Get off. Go away, Mr. Ender Dragon. So let's move on to the next one. We'll just let the Ender Dragon fly around. He's not bothering anybody. We're not bothering anybody. So, uh, where's he going? Oh, we're going to this one right here. So this one's actually a pretty easy one. I know we're already at 12 minutes and within two commands. <laughs> That's okay. It could be a longer video. This one's easy. This is going to be able to block people from going in an area where you want only admins to go. So you can see, I want to go in this location right here, but 
So let's pretend that I'm not an admin, which I am at the moment, but say we go right here, we press the button. Bang, removes admin. So therefore, if this was like the admin area, I wouldn't be able to go there. But if you want admin to go there, it's easy enough. Make myself an admin and now I can go anywhere I want. This one right here is you're gonna see. This is simple enough. It's gonna say if uh, it wants you to, if you don't have. So that's one thing on this command block here is tag exclamation mark admin so basically what this is saying is that if you're not admin right is that right mr j yeah if you're not an admin yes. then it will teleport okay so that's good that's i think the first time we've seen an uh, exclamation mark so that one's always on as you could tell repeat unconditional and needs redstone and then here is the simple one where you would give somebody admin again you would do this in your own most of the time you probably wouldn't have this just sitting there you know what i mean you would have this probably you would give the admin in the first place and they wouldn't just switch it on but as you can see remove admin not allowed easy enough i'm gonna just give myself admin just because i want to be admin okay so let's move on we're on to this one here guys this is a super cool one it's kind of it's a little bit uh it's a little bit factionsy it is a little bit factionsy and it's a slash wild so basically if you were to go over there you are going to teleport somewhere random. Bang, look at that. How far away are we? I don't even know. Super far I have away. No idea. I I'm on my way back. There. That's okay. That's okay. So you can see that's something there that you go. get a lot in factions where it's slash wild, you know? So basically, that's what that is. You walk in the door, you teleport somewhere random in the world. I'll show you the blocks when we get back there. I mean, since, since we're not worried about time on this video, we're going to just keep going. So you can see this is an easy one blocker. So this one right here, you can see a repeat unconditional command needs redstone and let's go here. So spread players is the actual command that's used to send somebody somewhere random. And this says, so basically tilde tilde. So from where this is tilde tilde. So within 200 blocks, it's going to send you and 1000. So between 1000. Yeah. So between 200 and 1000 blocks at a, so this DX is actually the simple way to look at the area which will teleport you so it's three blocks to the left and six blocks up so if you use this area of the command that means see the door so basically three blocks to the left and six blocks up which is the door so if you walk anywhere in there you're going to be able to use the slash wild command so uh super exciting i love having the ender dragon in the background i actually like that and now here we go with this one here so this one here i think maybe i guess maybe we're going to kill that ender dragon he's pretty loud Mr. J Craft kills the Ender Dragon right oh, okay. now. Watch. There you go. Okay, perfect. So this one here is actually a pretty straightforward one. We're gonna get through this one. Is this is gonna be a? Sm whoa, whoa. I feel like there's lag for the Ender Dragon dying. So this is gonna be a simple version of claiming, basically. That's kind of what it is. No, Mr. J, kind of claiming land so that yeah, admins can much, build yeah. in certain areas and normal people can't. So you can see, as we go here. Let me actually turn this on first. So yeah, it's though on. you need to remove your tag admin. Obviously. Oh, let me remove my admin tag. Hold on. It's over here. It's, oh, it's back I have one here. Okay, yeah, you can use that one too. So since I'm not admin now, I'm in adventure mode. So because I'm in adventure mode, I could go over here, and guess what? Once we're in this area, guess what? I could build. I could do whatever I want. However, when I go over here. This is not because this area is not marked for me to have access to. And yes, yeah, so it's simple as that. This one's a simple tag. We're going to go over here and show you. So again, admin, remove admin. These are the two that you saw before. We're going to go into them just for a sec. I, actually, I got to make myself admin. And then I got to give myself creative slash. Oh, oh, I already did it. You're welcome. No, I'm in, I'm in adventure mode. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Okay, perfect. So now we're in now we're in game mode C. So you can see basically give admin is the same as before. Tag at P admin. That's going to be and remove admin because it's key. And these ones right here are going to be the perfect example is bang, repeat, slash, execute. Make sure that this basically says that if you're not an, ag an admin, it's going to detect this over bedrock game mode A. So the easiest way to look at this one is is 
bedrock is everywhere so if you go down here that's basically detecting that bedrock is everywhere and if you're over bedrock and you're not admin you're not allowed to build and that's pretty much the example of what happens here so you can see the diamond blocks are right there and this one over here if we go to this next one here clear at ender pearl this is just something that he says what was this explain this one it's so people can't cheat somehow yeah, so if, you, if you're in your plot, you could teleport to someone else's plot with the end of Pearl, and okay. then you could build in their plot. So if you just make sure they can't do that, then they can't cheat it. Okay, because someone could end of Pearl in and then grief your stuff, basically, if they end of Pearl in, because they would teleport. Yeah, okay. So now here we do number five. Oh, you forgot one. Oh, what's this one here? Oh, you forgot this one over here. So then this... This, this is the plot climbing for their uh, for the specific players. Okay, so this one here would be the plot claim. So this basically says that Mr. J Craft or whatever your name would be would be the only one allowed to build there. That, that's correct, Mr. J Craft. Yep, it's executing at all players within the direction X, like in our little cube that we have set up, okay. or X, Y, and Z, and it will give any player that, well, anyone that's in there is not allowed to have creative mode unless they have my name, which just so happens to be Mr. J Craft. So that means nobody but you. Yeah, nobody but me. Okay, same that's way for awesome. your plot, except for your it's your name instead. And then on this one here, it would be the same one again. All the people would have to be an admin in the first place, or else this would be a problem for them anyway. Execute. Same thing. This is the exact same as yours, except with my square in the distance, right? Pretty much. Yeah, it's so that anyone who doesn't have admin can build in their designated little queue. Okay, perfect. That's awesome. So now we're doing the secret one. Just like last time with the appearing castle tower, we're doing one. So Mr. J Craft has an awesome video that's going to be factions commands that are a little more difficult. Something a little more challenging than what we're doing here. It's going to be a little more in depth. So I'm just going to give you a perfect example of one basically set home. A lot of people who play... Uh, factions want to do set home slash go home you know what I mean so this is he set it up so basically with a lot of commands more commands that I care to go into right now but will be more in-depthly explained on mr. J crafts basically this shows that on these books right here if you were to name the books it allows you to do certain things so say we wanted to set our home on this block you would basically just simply take this book and you would change the name of it to set home then you take the set home book and throw it and notice it disappears. Once this book disappears, this is now my home. And if I go somewhere else, so let's watch. And then say I take this book here, which just says slash home. I would go ahead and throw it. Bang. And you can see what it does. So it sets home in a different way. It basically sent me back to where I go. So there you go. J Mr. J, do you go, you go and... What other factions commands do you have in your video? I obviously have set home. I have uh, home as well. I also have a perk command so that you can have different perks and you can buy perks using a scoreboard. And there's also, you know, a slash creative survival awesome. night vision. And I think that's oh, also slash hub. Okay. And there you go. Pretty so tons of stuff. Ones. If you're trying to make a bedrock factions server, that video is going to be a go to. So again, link to that in the description below, and then you can have fun with your factions commands again a little more you know in depth than what you're going to get with me i'm sure there's going to be multiple command blocks in lots of that stuff so uh excited about that let's go here on to number six i think yeah number six perfect we're only at 20 minutes it's going to only be a 40 minute video awesome <laughs> i like it it's saturday though i think it's going to be saturday when this video comes out so people got time look at these cool armor crafts these cool armor stands spiraling these guys could have armor on them you could set them up on whatever way you want you can additionally make them an actual shop which is above maybe you know another video from now <laughs> it might be a little high tech but basically what it does is it just continuously spawns these armor stands and then basically slides them down slowly slowly descending until they hit this pressure plate right here and then that pressure plate teleports them back up to where they came from and then they come back through and then that's what happens and then they come through wouldn't you like to have this i think this would be super cool in your base if you ask me 
I think that would be super cool. Imagine your best enchanted armor f spiraling through. So here we go. Simple enough stuff. This first one here, you can see it's a repeat command. Unconditional needs redstone. It's a little more complicated. Basically, what this does is there's three types of armor stands in this loop. That's what the three commands here are. The three types of armor stands. One is called noob. One is called pro. And one is called gamer. I, I don't know. We'll go. We'll tell you the exact names later. But basically, you can see this is the rotation speed three at the end. So what they're doing is they're actually not they're not rotating they're teleporting at a different rotation repeatedly basically from what i understand is that correct mr j i learned yes, that last video and yeah so they are teleporting rapidly to make them appear to spin and you can see this armor stand is named noob and this armor stand right here is named gamer again rotations and everything exactly the same to make them spin the only difference between all three of these commands is noob gamer and pro i believe and that's the name of the armor stand they're all doing it they're all chain command right down the line you got this it's a repeat command the first one chain chain and then basically this last command block right here is what resends it up so basically it's gonna teleport this armor stand 10 above from what i understand is that how that works yep yeah. so basically once it hits here it's gonna armor stand up so i'm gonna just open this impulse unconditional needs redstone open up the command and yeah so if you wanted to go higher that 10 would be a 20 or you know whatever it is and uh, yeah simple enough i think that one's cool and easy let's go we got some more fun ones here uh, let's go down the line. Let's go down. We're skipping a few here that are more complicated. This one here is... Oh, this one's super cool. So, so can is it hard for you to do or should this I just do you. it right away? Yeah, it's, yeah okay. it's set up to work for you. So basically, this one here, I'm going to actually just show you first and then I'm going to switch it out of my hand. So basically, this one here is set up to show that anybody who has a looting sword... Right, maybe I should actually go in. So... Repeat unconditional needs redstone. You can see execute skippy six tilde 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 enchant at s looting one. So basically, I don't think looting one matters because I'm pretty sure the sword I have is looting two, but I think it just goes into looting. But it basically says that with this looting sword, it's going to fill tilde minus one tilde four with stone zero. So this basically says underneath me is going to be stone. You could change that stone to whatever block you want if you really wanted to. Let's go over here and just show you chain, conditional, always active. And now I'm going to show you. So this one's a hard one. I'm going to have to back up a bit because as soon as I put this sword in my hand, you're going to see anywhere I go, it's going to literally build stone underneath me. How awesome is that, guys? Come on. This is so, so cool. This is one of my favorite ones, I think, out of them all. It's so easy. And then make sure you get rid of it or else you'll bury stuff in stone. And again, you can make this enchanting tables. You can make it whatever you desire. You just change it in the command. Again, pause on any command you want, guys, and uh, you will be able to do it too. Do you like that one, Mr. J? I like that one. That's my favorite yeah, one. one my favorite ones. It's simple. You know what? People could have fun with that. Imagine if you wanted to build huge castle walls, right? Just go way up here. Look, I'm going to do it. Look at that. You know how long it would take to make these? Think about it. Wow, you're actually just going. I hope I don't. Okay, let's get rid of it. Sorry for making that huge wall, Mr. J. That's a, that's my bad. <laughs> let's well, hey, at least we can get rid of it really easily. And you can do the same thing. Oh, there you go, Mr. J. He showed the pro. There you go. So basically, all you have to do is change this to air. That's what he did. You can see he changed this last one to air. And now, if I go up there, good, look at that, Mr. J comes up large. So then now, if I want to get rid of anything under me, look at that. Wow, so super awesome. And make sure make sure I don't fly over anything. Oh, I went too fast. But either way, it's that easy, guys. Come on, super awesome. Good job, Mr. J with the save at the end there. So this one here, this is number eight, I believe. We're on number eight. So the best yep, thing about this, this one. one here is this is the spectator one, if I remember correctly. Yes, this is. So I'm just going to explain this one first and then show you after. This is going to make it, you have to set this one up to work ahead of time on certain people. So basically, Mr. J Craft, this is going to repeat unconditional needs redstone. This is going to make all players spectate what Mr. J Craft does. We're going to be doing it from one block, two blocks, three blocks. So now basically, no matter what I do, I am looking at what Mr. Draycraft is looking at. If he flies around the world, if he does whatever he does, the world doesn't load up for me over there, but 
that's okay. Long story short is this is a spectate command. Guys, how easy is that? As you can see, put your player name in one and put the other one. And basically everybody who joins the world is going to probably, not probably, but for sure, spectate Mr. J Craft. If you want to make this, again, you could just put your name in there. And 100 is, this 100 is basically, it's my view is I'm spectating 100 blocks ahead of Mr. J Craft. So I think this one's super good. I'm not sure. I feel like if you had like 10 people in your world and they were all spectating, there might be a lag problem. Is that accurate, Mr. J Craft? Like uh, would it create I lag? don't know. We can't really have that many. It may or may not. Uh, may use, or may not. Use, for 10, use with 10 players at your own risk. So let's keep going. <laughs> we got this one here. So this is the Trident one, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to go and show you what it is. So basically, like a this is pack. extra fast flying. So you can actually move super fast and you do this with... I'm not going to go over it right now. Here, hold on. Let me turn it off. If you have a Riptide Trident. So you need a Riptide Trident to do it. And then what happens is, you can see right here, Enchant A, Tag B, Riptide 1. So any Riptide Trident in your hand, that's going to be the first step to this command. And then the second step to this command is the Chain 1. Always active, conditional and bang so basically what this is doing he made it a little slower when we tested this earlier there was it was 10 so it went twice as fast it was a little hard to control but you can see execute at a tag equals b uh tilde 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 tp at e tag b so basically this is going to put you five you're going to teleport five blocks ahead of where you're looking at with the trident in your hand right that's basically the easiest way to look yeah. at it so you're basically moving five to one pretty much and it will constantly do that so you're basically moving like in milliseconds, five, 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 five. So let's just do it. We're going to turn it on. I'm going to get up here. Hopefully, Mr. J can teleport me. But you can see as soon as I put this trident in my hand, you can see. Oh, my gosh. I'm going so fast. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So uh, I'll take it out of my hand now. And you can see we're far away. Mr. J teleported me back. So let's see if we can't make this. Let's make it much slower. Let's go in here and let's turn this guy down. And... Let's go to this guy and let's make... So we're just... See, just to show you a perfect example is let's go ahead and make that 5-2. Just because I don't want to go turbo mode at the moment. Let's go like this. Let's turn it on. Perfect. And let's jump in the sky and let's try it now. So you can see I just went through the ground like a maniac. Oh my gosh. I went right through the ground, Mr. J. I went right through the bedrock and everything. Oh, I guess now we have to call you Ghost Gamey. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's try this one more time. So make sure you stay up, and you can see basically we're moving fast. This one has a, you know, you could go a little bit, but basically you want to use it like that. That's, see what I just did is you want to kind of, it kind of lags a little bit, but you can see I got to take it out of my hand, and uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm now going backwards. Super useful for big projects. It is super useful for big projects. I would make it slower. I would even put it on one. You should have seen it, guys, before. When it was on 10, it was a little too fast for me. But this one here, guys, is super... It's honestly one of the easiest ones. But I hope that someone actually waited the 29 minutes and watched this video to the end. Because this is probably the most useful one. This is literally making an area where you can build and you can't build. So, easy enough. When it's on, look at this. Bang. You're in survival mode when you're over diamonds. You go to creative mode when you're over gold. This is very simple. Basically, you do this so that in a certain area, it's all creative mode. And then when you leave, it's in survival. And you could do it the other way around, right? You could do it so basically once you're in a plot, you're good to go. So you can see right here, this is easy. Execute at A. That's all players. Tilde, tilde, detect, diamond, block, zero, game mode A. So... Basically, game mode A is adventure. So it's not necessarily in survival mode. It's in adventure mode when we're over top of this. And then you can see on this one here, it's the gold one. And it's going to do the exact same thing. But for a gold block, it's going to turn it to game mode C. So you can see, I bet if I walk through the middle here, it actually doesn't do it. See what I mean? We could actually get out in survival mode. See how interesting that is? That's actually super interesting. But if you go on a gold block... And there you go. Guys, how awesome is that? We actually did pretty good. A half hour video. I think, you know, maybe I'll cut a few things. We can make it 29 minutes and 57 seconds. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's yeah, like that's stick. awesome. Mr. J, thank you for all the help. I'm going to give everybody a sneak peek. I know that, I don't know if it's there still. For some reason, the world's not loading. But, basically, Mr. J is doing a whole bunch of world edit 
commands and this is something that could be looked at in the future for some reason mr j that chunk is not loaded for me so uh I, oh, well, it's loaded for me. They saw it earlier in the video. You see this green thing, and he's working on some really good kind of world edit commands that are very, you know, more complicated, but a brush and a paste and a... So we'll just leave it at that, let you know in the future that that's something that could be coming. Uh, it's going to be a little bigger. Number two, make sure you subscribe to Mr. J Craft. His channel is in the description below. And if you want to do all of those factions commands, guys, that are a little more complicated, the video is also in the link below. Guys, Mr. J Craft, thank you very, very much for doing this stuff. We love it. We put, you know what? Mr. J Craft puts a ton of work into these. Since the last one, he's been this this world existed since the last video we made. So we're constantly kind of working together to make. You know what he does? He makes them really hard. And then I come in and I go, Mr. J, that's insane. I don't know what you're doing. And he's like, and then I come back and he made the same thing in like two blocks. So it's way better, guys. So thank you, Mr. J Craft. This is your last word. Your last words. Pineapple. Okay, that's fine. Pineapple, guys. Don't forget to smash the like before you go. And, uh, yeah, guys, catch you on the next one. And there you go. There you go. I don't know, half an hour.